So the brand new season of Love Island is starting this Sunday, I believe at 9 o'clock. Okay, don't quote me on it. I think it's 9 o'clock. I know for a fact it's starting this Sunday, but I'm not too sure of the time because I don't really watch it like that. However, I do watch a couple of episodes of the summer Love Island because now it's going to be on twice a year. We didn't ask for it, but ITV decided, you know what, we can't give it to you anyway. Even though we didn't ask for it. One of the guys who are going on this new season of Love Island, his name is Mike, he's Ghanaian, and he is a police officer. And once everybody found out he was a police officer, the timeline went mad. Yes, as per usual, Twitter went mad. And it brought up the question, can you be a police officer and at the same time and simultaneously want the best for black people and the other question is will more black people help reduce the rates of racism you know me you know how i am but i'm going to try and get my gilly out as quickly as possible because i only want this video to be five minutes so here we go now I know, well, I believe that, you know, the institution, the institution of the police officers here in the UK is massive. There's like, um, at least one police station wherever you go here in Birmingham. And I know for a fact it's the same, it's the same in, um, London. You have like different districts of different police officers, of course, but you know, they're all like under the same, they're all like under the same, you know, because it's an institution. You have your different locations, you like you have the West Midlands Police and the West Yorkshire Police, etc, etc. But at the same time, they're all under one institution. All supposed to follow the same rules. However, we have seen time and time again that that, that does not happen. I know for a fact it happens in America as well. Police officers are supposed to follow all the same rules. Of course, there will be adaptions based on location. However, they choose routinely to strive past these rules and do what they feel to do. And Unfortunately, a lot of the times when they are striving past rules and what they are supposed to do, it is black people who are primarily targeted by their racism. Personally, I was a bit shocked to find out that this guy, Mike from Love Island, is a police officer, especially because you're a police officer and you're going on a show like Love Island. I'm not kind of, I'm not really understanding his logic for that because do your, do your work colleagues, like where you work, do they even know that you're going on Love Island? Like, do they know this? And are you going to have a job when you go back? Like these are questions that need to be answered like are you gonna have a job when you go back this is what i want to know there was this one woman on twitter yesterday who was arguing the point that um in order to break down racism within the police force we need to have more black police officers however i have noticed over the years that black police officers typically tend to get into this um snowball effect Whereas they go to work, you know, for the first time once they're fully qualified as a police officer. And basically what happens is they end up, they end up going along with what the predominant party is doing because it is a lot easier to do what everybody else is doing instead of trying to be an individual especially in that kind of in that kind of social environment when you know full well as a black person you're making up very small numbers i mean we barely make up any numbers at all in the uk and then within the police force we're like what is even really, the point it just really bothers me that people honestly think that more police officers will resolve the issue when the simple fact is the institution of the police force it is rooted in white supremacy okay it was not designed the justice system the police force were not designed in order for the benefits of black people so to say this illogical argument that more police officers more black police officers result will resolve the issue i don't think it will because 
in case you have forgotten, years ago, the police force here in the UK said, what we're going to do is we're going to do reverse discrimination. Reverse discrimination with what they did was they said, we are going to start rejecting police force application and um, police officer applications from white people and we're only going to take on those who are black and asian however it didn't really work up because you have to remember in the uk it will only take one white person to scream racism and as you can see it didn't even help the situation anyway because yes they did get more black and asian police officers but still not enough to effectively make change and then And then as you can see later on, there is still more white people who are police officers. I mean, of course, I mean, of course, that would be the situation anyway, because there's more white people in this country. But at the same time, there's not enough of a presence for us to even make a step towards change. For true change to come about from the whole um, justice system and and the police force what actively needs to happen is either they need to admit they need to admit their privilege you know they need to admit their privilege and um the higher the higher powers of the police force they need to step down and allow black people to advance to that level so they're the ones who can effectively make change or what needs to happen is the police force in the UK needs to be abolished altogether and something else needs to come about. That is the only effective way to make change. But expecting change to come about just because there is more of a black presence is not going to work. Because first of all, like I said, there's not enough black people in the UK that will um, be able to infiltrate the police force in order to change there is is there are black people here in the uk who have the knowledge and the skills and experience who need to be at the top of the police force however they're not it's white people predominantly at the top of the police force they are not the ones they're not the ones who are going on beats they're not the ones who are walking up and down the streets they're not the ones who are going on the buses those are the ones they're sitting in their fucking offices for 12 hours or whatever making or making up all these is making sure everything is run smoothly but when it comes to when it comes to like racism and that they want to be acting like they don't know like they don't know what's going on i mean look how long it took after stephen um look how long it took after stephen lawrence was murdered before they before they admitted that um the police force was racist look how long look um how long ago mark duggan was murdered but yet they're still freaking acting like nothing was done wrong really bothers me i mean it's not towards that guy mike from um love island really but it just bothers me to see black people you know joining up to the police force i mean fair enough i mean you got a good you I mean you got a good job yeah okay you're earning money but at the same time it's just like what really is it what really is it changing for black people is it actually changing anything we always say this we always say this notion that in order for us to have change for ourselves we need to be in we need to be in these positions of power so police officers judges lawyers um doctors nurses etc but at the same time we are still dealing with racism so it's not that i'm it's not that i'm being pessimistic i'm just being completely realistic things are not changing or at least not quick enough change that needs to be happening things are still quite backwards i just think that you know there needs to be something massive to change in the uk in order for it to be beneficial for black people and other ethnic minorities because black people black men are 10 times more likely to be stopped and searched 10 times more likely to be pulled over by police officers and that's black men and we're not even going to talk about the mental health services we're not even going to go into that this go into that discussion today because that would take too long and i've already done videos on mental health services and how they treat black people appallingly so i'm not going to go there again in this video here by saying like i like i previously stated is not really so much to this guy mike it's more so the fact that black people are literally struggling in this country and the police force are not making it any easier and some police officers in this country they typically tend to be 10 times worse than white police officers because they have because they now have an um, ounce 
of power that white people generally tend to have and they abuse that power against their fellow black people because they know that they are in this position of privilege and they they use it to their advantage basically so we don't really know what kind of police officer Mike is. We don't really know this, you know, but I mean, he seems all right, but we just don't know the truth is. So I would, you know, air some caution. But yes, that's it. Me ranting over. I got two more YouTube videos to do. So yes, let me get the, let me get to them. Okay, bye.